Hey guys, welcome back, and as promised, we're going to be going through a little bit more of the iOS 6 features, including the collection view, UI collection view. So this is a big step for you guys, as you guys are uh, kind of experimenting with Xcode 4.5, uh, I think it's point one, something like that. But uh, what we're going to do is open up our Xcode, and we're going to create a new project. And within that, uh, you'll get prompted with to choose a template. We're going to go ahead and select the single view application. Go ahead and click next and we're gonna just name this collection view let's see here tutorial toot we'll do that and within the organization name company identifier those are specific to you guys so you don't have to copy these unless you want to but uh, one thing you will want to make sure is that uh, you're at least an iPad for the device or universal in this case you could do iPhone because it works as well but uh, we'll be going through the iPad version and make sure that storyboard and automatic reference counting are selected. Unit tests are not, uh, we're not gonna be going through those in this tutorial. So go ahead and click next. You're gonna be prompted with where to save this, wherever you guys want. I don't really care where you save it. All right, so as that uh, template develops, you'll see that we get some files and uh, some different things within the left, our files menu. And the first place that we're gonna start is this main storyboard, all right? And uh, we're gonna go ahead and double click, double click, and uh, maybe maybe not. We're just gonna go down here, and we're gonna go to the, we're gonna minimize zoom out. So you'll see that uh, this is basically the storyboard for our project as of now. We got a blank white view controller, looking pretty sweet, guys. And that's uh, that's it. That's a wrap. That's a tutorial. No, we'll, uh, we'll continue on, but uh, over to the right, you'll see that we've basically got this dock, this view within the utilities, and uh, we've got a bunch of objects over here. One that is new to iOS 6 is this collection view controller, which allows us to create this grid-like view, similar to like a table view, but it's gonna be a little bit, uh, a little bit different where it's a grid instead of a table view. And so that's what we're gonna be going through. Now if you go down to the search area and you select for, you s not select, but if you type in collection or collect, something like that, you'll see the different options that have been uh, associated with this collection view controller. So we could select, a, or actually throw on a whole collection view controller, which we're gonna do right now. Or we could uh, put a pre-existing collection view controller within you know, a view that we've already got, and add a table view cell, Put a reusable view on top whatever but in this case what I want you guys to do is as I did was take this view controller drag it on the screen and drop it all right so this view controller that we have from the template we're just going to delete out because we don't really care about it now as you see the collection view that we have on the screen you'll see this arrow that pops over here this arrow basically tells us that hey when we run our application this is the view that we want our application to start on all right so we want the collection view to show up first all right, so we're gonna double click our view controller here and you'll see this little box up here which is basically this is a collection view cell all right and as you guys have put in collection view here we could actually take another collection view cell and drop it onto the screen now that we have a view controller and drop another one maybe a review reusable cell stuff like that so you can see that you can build upon this we're gonna stay basic to start so what we're gonna do is take out those cells that we put on screen and we're gonna stick with one that we're gonna make maybe a little bit bigger I don't know some somewhere in that size alright so once you get to this point what we're gonna do is we've got to create a view controller for this collection alright so we're gonna go over to the left here and within our files menu here we're just gonna right click and uh, go to new file another way to do it is go file new file or a command in if you like those short but shortcut keys so we're gonna go to the Coco Touch area and we're gonna select the Objective-C class and go ahead and click Next within here. So you'll see that we're prompted with uh, basically to name this class. And so we're gonna name this class um, Collection View, well, maybe not Collection. We're just gonna do Collection View Controller, all right? And then you'll see that we've got subclass of and right now it's defaulting to View Cell. We're gonna change that to UI view controller. Alright? So you can go ahead and select targeted for iPad, or if you're working with an iPhone, leave that unchecked. We'll go ahead and select it. Doesn't matter either way in that case. 
um, but we're gonna go ahead and click next and you'll see it's just prompting us to ask us where we'd like to save it go ahead and save it within your project and you'll see that we have two new basically files which are gonna control our uh, collection view controller there there's one other thing as you go back to the main storyboard you will see that uh, we have this cell here but we want to add like an image to it and we want to have some different objects within that so we want to kind of create this custom collection view cell there so we're going to need one other set of uh, files here so we're going to go ahead and add some files here same area within the objective c class go ahead and click next and when you get to this point we're just going to we're just going to put like collection uh, cell and we'll leave it at that. Now instead of the subclass being the view controller because we've already got that, we're gonna go and make this the UI view cell. All right. So once you get those set and named, go ahead and click next and those are gonna again prompt you where you wanna save, go ahead and create them and you'll see that we have the cells on uh, hand here. So now with those classes put into place in the view controller, we're going to go back to the storyboard and we're going to get this all set up and ready to roll. So we're going to zoom in. First thing I want you to do is uh, if you don't have this resized to a larger um, cell, go ahead and resize it to whatever you think. You know, it could be it could be anything, honestly. I just want you to kind of think what you want to think and do what you want to do here. All right. So now once you've got this resized to a little bit larger um, cell, we're going to search for image and we're going to pull out the image view from our objects here. We're going to take that image view and place it right over the cell. So it takes up pretty much the entire space of that cell. Now this image view is great because we're basically going to be taking four different images and we want to repeat them on the screen here. So we want the, the first image to be here, second image to be here, so on and so forth. And that's going to be our grid of four, you know, it could be unlimited objects it could be images pictures from your iPhone camera and so on and so forth so we're gonna take that image view and we're gonna place it on screen here the other thing we're gonna do before we exit out of the storyboard is we're gonna click in the black area here which basically selects our collection view if you look over to the top here you'll see that our collection view is selected and then we're gonna go over to the attributes of that collection view and we're gonna scroll down to let's say the background we're going to change this background from the default black to a white, all right? And the reason being is our logos have some black font that I've selected out, and you'll see that uh, is, you know, basically we don't want them blending in, so we want to change the background of this collection view so they kind of stick off the page in a sense. The only thing that we're going to do is we're going to select our cell. Now, as you see, we've selected the image view. To select the cell, now that we have the image view on top, we can go over to this dock and we can select the collection view cell. All right. Once you've got that selected, we'll go back over to the attributes and we're going to change the background to maybe like a light gray. All right. And uh, again, the reason behind it is now that we've changed this to white, we want this to stick out a little bit so we can see the grid. And that's just only for you guys and myself, so we can see this grid and how it works with the different logos within it. And so once you've got that, we've got generally what we want in uh, in the storyboard, minus one other thing, and that's uh, we're gonna have to click back on the collection view cell because I clicked off on accident. So go to the dock, click the collection view cell, and then if you go up to the identifier. What we're going to do is we're going to set an identifier here. And this is going to come later because as you guys, as we write the code, we basically want this one cell to generate however many times we have images. And so we want to identify exactly what this cell looks like and does and works and acts and basically all that stuff. So we don't have to say it every time. So we're just going to put in like reuse ID. All right, so we'll come back to that. So your identifier is reuse ID. Then we also want to go into the, uh, what's this menu in here, I forget, it's, uh, the identity inspector, and we want to assign that custom cell class that we identified. So we're going to start typing collection cell, and go ahead and uh, auto fill that with collection cell. The last thing that we're going to do is we have to associate this image view with something. 
all right because right now it's just kind of sitting there and so we're gonna open up the assistant editor by going up here and uh, clicking that and basically uh, well there's one other thing that we have to do before we go into the assistant editor we've got to click our collection view controller we have to assign it to the new collection view controller that we created so if you go down here and once you've got your collection view highlighted and you'll know that by this bar being blue and the, the whole collection view being highlighted go up to your identity inspector and start collection start typing collection view and you'll see collection view controller is auto filled there so go ahead and click return and uh, and then we'll go back to this which I got a little ahead of myself but uh, now you can select your image view and we're gonna go into the editor here all right and once you go to the editor there we want to get to this custom collection cell all right because we want to assign this image view and basically assign it to our pointer all right so what you want to do is you want to go up here and we're gonna use a shortcut we're gonna click in there and instead of automatic we're gonna manual and we're gonna find that collection cell dot H all right we're gonna select our image view then we're gonna hold control click and drag over to our basically our collection cell dot H all right and create our outlet for this collection cell so you'll see the, the connection is basically an outlet and we're going to name this collection image view all right and the defaulted options here are going to be good as long as you're on image view storage is weak go ahead and connect that there all right so that should be the last thing that we have to connect within our storyboard here now it just comes to the actual programming of our basically our array of our images we're going to import our images in and then we're going to assign them to uh, the different collection views here so our one image view our cell is going to be duplicated for however many images we have on screen all right so and so we're going to we're going to continue this tutorial in part two i'm going to pause here if you guys have any questions on this first one drop me a comment if you have any issues you can find the source code on mybringback.com all right, so if uh, you are having issues, go there. I'll have the source code ready for you guys, and uh, you guys can kind of figure out where uh, maybe I made the mistake. Maybe, maybe the program just sucks, but uh, you guys can figure it out from there. All right, I'll catch you guys in part two. Later.